Hey guys, thank you for clicking on the video, and in this video I'm going to be playing four random PS Now games, so let's start with Destroy All Humans 2. Okay, they're just putting us right into the action. Kill the KGB agents. I don't even know the controls. I don't know what I'm doing right now. They could they could have given me a tutorial at least. Okay, so R1 is the butt shoot button. Radar. Your current goals are marked on the radar. It's pink monster. Okay. Use your radar to find Ortho Ox. Okay. I'm clobbering all these agents. I better get away from me. Back up. Oh. Get him. What's the hold up? Okay. Here we go. PK, you can break open the gate using psychokinesis. Hold L1 to target a movable object. While holding L1, press triangle to pick up the object. Okay. Then press triangle again. Okay. Boom. Okay, hold on. Let's try this out. Beak! Wow, that, that, that actually did not... Wait, did that kill him? No. Beak! Okay, that looked like it did damage that time. Yeah, he's knocked out. Cold. Hold on. One more time. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, I can pick him up. What you said about my magic? Three, oh, yeah. two, we'll one, boom. Out of here. Now what? Okay, we got ourselves a little cussing. Ugh, who is this? Crypto! The mothership has somehow been destroyed! This voice reminds me of Invader Zen. And I've been blown to smithereens! Luckily, okay. I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, so this guy is dead and he's talking to me through like Virtual a hologram. Box, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon Lasley beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then... I kick a little monkey ass. Hey, hold on. You can't be cussing like that on my channel. Ah, oh, crap. This is wow. They just took all my health away. Okay, that's the shield. The shield will recharge as long as you avoid enemy fire for a minute time. Okay. Talk to Ark Boodle. Okay, so this is like alien Grand Theft Auto. We'll pick you. Here, you're coming with me. Since you don't shoot at me, come here. Okay, I'm about to throw you into a car, actually. Dang, I didn't expect this to fly that much. Landing zones. Ark Voodoo is an ancient Furun god. Ark Voodoo statues mark the location of ancient Furun landing sites. Talk to them and satisfy his demands to unlock landing zones. Okay. Amuse thy languid Furon god. Who's Set shooting? Hey. Hold on. Hold on, Ark Voodoo. Somebody shoot me. Syllables of the great Ark Voodoo. I must have been drugged. What? Man, get out of here. Okay, what? Amuse thy languid Furon god. Zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Ark Voodoo. So my just shoot the shroud of evil is rekindled. Landing zone activated. That's all you wanted me to do? That mission was that easy? Okay, let's call the saucer. Now I gotta kill some more KGB agents. Here we go. Hold on, is that explosive barrel? I'm about to explode, y'all. Hold on. Dang, he's on fire. I just murdered him. Well, I'm murdering all these other guys, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we're done. So now we're about to fly the saucer. Getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. Tell Fox to get the saucer ready or press that Fox for heavy weapons. Man, I want the I heavy weapons. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some 
I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. Yeah, I want, I want the you big one. be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, okay now. so, where are the data cores? That's just it. They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed Dang, to locate that's... only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Okay, I'm just gonna leave because I don't really it. like care about this. I'm just gonna yeah skip all this. I'm just trying to get to the gameplay. Okay, I'm just gonna move on to the next game now. Okay, guys, the next game we're gonna play is Overcooked 2. I already have a little bit of experience, but let's see. Okay, so this is actual event. Just after tea time. At last! How long I've waited for this moment. The trials we've been through to win this Nobel Prize. Look at it, Kevin. Look, the favorite necro, necro nom nom icon. This is just a cooking recipe. What? What do you mean it's dangerous? Don't be silly. This book holds the secrets of the everlasting culinary greatness. In a large bowl, dissolve the sugar in warm water, then stir the yeast. Allow to proof until yeast resembles a rich creamy foam. Mix the salt and oil, then mix the flour. Get the dough, cover with a damn cloth. And allow it to rise. So there's zombie pieces of toast. Wow. No, no, no. This wasn't supposed to happen. It can't be. It's the unbred. Bro. Oh my gosh. What type of joke was that? As my best chefs are conveniently the ones that happen to be here. See if you can fit them off. They seem so hungry. Set to it. Okay, I guess I'm a mouse. Okay, grab some lettuce. Now take it to the shopping board. Who is this with me? Is this an NPC? Oh, okay, I can stop chefs. <clears throat> Good work, and I have to chop the lettuce now. Okay, now what? Put it on a plate. And oh yeah, okay, serve the dish. They just want a lettuce. Okay. Then she, uh, switch chefs. And uh, boom. Good work. You're gonna have to chop the list. Okay, yeah, I already did it. Okay, put it on the plate. And swap chefs. Put this on the plate too. And now we got a salad. Okay. So now chop that up. Get some tomato. Wait till this is done. Put it on the plate. And get the tomato. And now you got just gotta get the lettuce. Boom. Easy so far. So I don't think this game should be too hard. This game. I'm pretty good at this game. I think I got this. Like put this lettuce on a plate. Boom. Okay, now what? Lettuce and tomato. Boom. Put this on there. Swap chefs. Oh, wait. I gotta get the tomato. Put this tomato on there. Okay. Swap chefs. Put it on the plate. I'm good. I can get all of these orders done. These orders are easy. Okay, they are, now they're starting to give me a lot of orders right now. I might get a little behind, but I think I got this. Okay, so now I need to make a lettuce tomato. So that's the lowest thing on the timer right now. Oh shoot, the timer's running out. I need some tomato. Now lettuce. Let's see if I can get this last order done. Come on, 18 seconds. Well, yeah, I got this. 18 seconds is a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to do another order though. Yeah. That's, that was my last order. Oh wait. Dang it. 
I wasn't able to get the letters done before the timer went out. This horde is too ravenous. No, don't be a hero, Kevin. Quick, back to the castle. Retreat! Okay, now what? You may be my best chefs, but you have much to learn if you're gonna con conquer that appetite. Me and Kevin can keep those fiends from entering the castle for now. But if the unbred spread out from the castle grounds, I feared for the Onion Kingdom. We must act quickly. So there's only onions here? Why, of course, the royal sage go to them to no credit. It seems that once again, it's a few chefs to save our kingdom. So take my wheels, hit the road, learn some new recipes, and for the love of onions, learn to cooperate better. We was doing good. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, on to the next game. Okay, guys, the next game we're going to be playing is Surgeon Simulator. So, this game is actually, like, really hard because there's wonky controls and you gotta make sure you don't kill the patients which is hard because of the controls but let's see what we can do okay let's do heart transplant let's see if i can do this without killing the patient let's see how many tries it takes okay heart transplant so first of all we're gonna get we're gonna get the buzz saw and we're just gonna saw his ribs open so that we can <laughs> So that we can get to the heart. If I can grab it. Okay, never mind. It's out of control now. Come on. Okay, I don't even think I can get it anymore, so I'm just about to move on to something else. I'm gonna just use a hammer instead. Can I pick this up, please? Hold on, let me see if I can. There we go. Pick it up. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, let's just restart. Get this out of the way. Move. Okay, now it's freaking I'm stuck. Move this out of the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, hit his ribs. This is the wrong side of the hammer, but it still works. He's not losing any blood. He's not losing a lot of blood right now, so we're okay. He still has a lot. Just gotta get a little bit of right here. And right here. So to make taking out the lungs easier. Okay, he is losing some blood, so... I'm gonna get this green. And then prick him with it. The green needle. Okay, there we go. Now he's not losing any blood. And now let's take the liver out. I mean, the lungs out. Dang, this one's really was in there. I might have to get my trusty hammer again. Okay. Now we're using the right side. Boom. Boom. Come on. Okay. That should be enough to get this lung out. Come on. Oh my gosh, it won't come out. Ooh, yes, I got it out. And I got the other thing out. Okay, let's just toss that on the side. Okay, now let's get a little knife. Cut whatever this is out. Oh, I already got the heart. I just gotta cut this. Um. Is it out? Okay, I got it, I got it. Now I think I gotta cut this side. Okay, there we go. Now it's free. Now, I'ma uh, get him with the, prick him with the green needle. So, stop losing blood. Boom. Now, I'll take the heart out. No, not the bone, the heart. If I can just grab it. Okay, there we go. We don't need this old heart, we'll just toss it on the ground. Then we'll grab whatever this is, toss it, and now we'll just get the new heart out. Open. There you go. Now we just gotta throw it in there. Boom! Surgery complete. Looks fine to me, I'm sure he love. Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty good. We gotta see. I mean, he's missing every other organ, but it's hard, but I think he'll live. 
Okay, on to the next game. Okay, guys, this is gonna be the last game for our list, and it's called I Am Bread. As you can see right here, you control a piece of bread, and you gotta try and get yourself to the toaster. So let's just start story mode right here. Okay, the goal is to become toast. Okay. The thing that makes this game hard too is because of the weird controls. So I gotta learn to master the controls to get myself to this toaster. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Hold on, let me try and fling myself off. Ooh, okay. Okay, make sure we don't fall on the ground. Hold on, I gotta hold on. There you go. Now let's see. Let go. Okay, there we go. See, I'm learn. I learned these controls quick. I'm mastering this game already. Are those ants? Okay, we gotta make sure we don't touch the ants. Or we're gonna get dirty. Okay, so the toaster is all the way over there. So how are we gonna even get over there? Move. Okay, I can throw myself like that. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to climb across the fridge. Okay, hang on. I'm losing grip, I gotta hurry. Come on. My grip's less than half gone. Okay, let's just climb to the top of this. Boom, now on the top. Let's just climb past this box. Okay, no. We don't want to fall off the fridge. Because it'll be easy to get on the floor. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Now let's just fall onto the, the silverware. Okay, let's climb across the wall. Okay, we gotta hurry because my grip is loosening. Uh-oh. And let's see where we're gonna fall. Okay, we made it. Let's go. Come on, I just wanna make it to the toaster. I'm gonna use this pot right here to turn myself so I can climb straight. Okay, now let's go forward. Never mind, we're going diagonally. Maybe I can turn myself. Okay, there you go. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay. Let's climb on top of this microwave. Boom. Now, I'm gonna fling myself. I'm gonna do a leap of faith. And fling myself towards the wall. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I grabbed onto it. Let's go. Boom. Climb sideways. And boom. Now we're over to the toaster. Now I just gotta figure out how to get inside of the toaster. How do I get inside? I, I guess I'm just gonna have to go over here and climb inside of it. Okay, come on. I'm right on top of the toaster. Just let me fall in. I'm so close to becoming toast right now. Okay, now this is the hard part. How do I get myself in this freaking toaster? Oh my gosh, how do I get inside? Okay, okay. I think I got it, I think I got it. No, grab, I'm trying to grab with the side. What button is that? Okay, L2. Dang it. Oh wait, am I in? Nah, I'm not. Dang, bro, I'm so close. I'm literally falling inside of it a little bit. Come on. I just need to turn. Oh my god. Wait, am I? Nope. Okay, I think I have a good strategy right here. Yes, I finally went in. Oh my gosh. Finally. Uh, yes. I made it to toast. I'm toast now, yes. Yeah, I'm, maybe I should have ended the level and I made it to 100%, but uh, yeah, I don't care because that's still a victory in my book. Okay guys, that's gonna end this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
click that button to get notified for more videos like this. Share this video with your friends if you think they'll like my channel. And bye.